different and new and exciting. Hello guys, I'm in my kitchen and it's really cool and fun. Yeah, I've just uh, made my Snapchat public for a little bit and you've all been sending me snaps for a QA. and um, It's so much fun, it's really, really nice to see all of your faces. And it's just really nice. I really enjoy it. But yeah, I've got a bunch of questions off you guys from Snapchat. And I'm going to show you there. Oh, I've got another Snapchat. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. There are some questions for Jordan as well. But I will do them at the end because he's not here yet. I'm waiting for him to get here. So let's do the Q&A. First. The first one is off my friend George. And he's clearly being sarcastic. He's put, oh my god, Ellie Bean. What's your favourite colour? Hi, George. I doubt you're watching this because you're a rubbish friend and you don't support me on YouTube. But my favourite colour is probably orange. So, oh, no, yellow. Yellow, I'm going to go with yellow. Like an orange and yellow. Mustard. The next one is from Emily. What's your dream wedding? Oh, that's a hard question because the, we don't have any plans on getting married anytime soon. But I think I would love, like, getting married on a farm or on a field. Something really like that. I don't know the word. Like, festival -y, Shabby. Chic. I don't know what you would call it, but... Do you like Reese's? I do. P.S. Love your hairstyle. Thank you. I love Reese's and I also love your vest. I think I need one of them. <laughs> yeah, I really like Reese's, but it's one of them, like, I can only have one piece, else I feel sick. So I just have, like, one and I really like, I'm like... <laughs> Tips on how to get from red to blonde. Love you. Love you too. Um, if I was going to go from this to blonde, um, I would first do a colour before, so I'd strip my hair of all the dye. So then I'd probably be left with like a dirty blondie gingery colour. Then I would probably put a bleach on and then depending on what colour that came out, I would then tone it with like purple toner. I don't know how much help that will be, but good luck. <laughs> this one's Lizzie. What's your fave bath bomb? Girl, you spelt fave wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. LOL. And so like where you want to be in five years. Uh, my favourite bath bomb from Lush is one that's limited edition and you can't even get. It's called Rose Bombshell. You know I love that rose. But failing that, Yoga Bomb. Because that's not limited edition. You can get that anytime. I love it because of all the colours. Oh my god, it's amazing. Um, where do you want to be in five years? I want to be settled in my own home in... A good job, which is like a career, not working behind a bar, and more successful on YouTube. I mean, ideally, I'd, I'd like to do YouTube as a full-time job, but I also wouldn't mind doing photography as a full-time job as well, so like, meh, I don't know. <laughs> Love you, Lizzie! Will you ever do a meet-up in Manchester? Um, I mean, I'm not going to say no, but I don't think I'm really big enough to do a meet-up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to do it, but... It's kind of up to you guys, really, because you're the ones that would be coming, so... <laughs> okay, so what's your biggest regret? My biggest regret is, like, not thinking about the future more in terms of, like, a career and a job. Um, so yeah, that's a bit sad, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you... <gasps> that's hard. Probably Spain. Um, my first instinct is like, oh, America. Oh, all these extravagant places. But honestly, Spain as a country makes me so happy. It sounds stupid and cliche, but I feel at home when I'm at Spain. I don't know if it's because I've been so many times, but I really do feel like that when I'm in Spain. So yeah, probably Spain. I don't know whereabouts in Spain, but... Somewhere. Last one, if you could play any instrument, what would it be? Drums. <laughs> could I be a drummer? Probably not. <laughs> Jordan wants me to learn how to play the bass, but I just, um, I'm too scared. What colours will you be using for your wedding? Girl, I do not know. I don't know if you're a girl either, you might be a boy. I'm just coming, I'm just jumping to conclusions there. I don't know, I'm guessing orange. Nah, I don't think so. Mm, I don't know. It's not something I've thought about. Like I say, we're not going to be getting married anytime soon unless we win the lottery. So, uh. Emma! Hi, Emma. Snapchat Q&A, you'll see. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool am I? 11. 
what made you get into vlogging slash YouTube? Um, watching other people on YouTube, basically, and like seeing this little sort of community. I used to watch other people's videos and be like, I want this. And but I was always too scared to do it. And then I grew some balls and I did it. And yes. In your opinion, what jobs tolerate colourful hair? Um, I guess like behind bars usually where I work. Um, I would say coffee shops, but I think Starbucks don't. But I think they're kind of sort of changing it at the minute. It's kind of like jobs where you're serving people, like doctors and stuff like that. Not so much. Which is sad, it shouldn't be like this. There's no reason that I can't do my, my job better because of the colour of my hair. It just, it's just stupid, I don't, I'm not gonna get into it right now, but it annoys the hell out of me. It shouldn't happen. But yeah, sorry for getting angry. Thank you for your question, you look really pretty. <laughs> How to deal with the stress of going to college? Um, well, I went to college and I did get stressed a lot in college. I've never been diagnosed dyslexic, but I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic. Uh, and I find it really hard to concentrate sometimes. Got through it with the help of some amazing tutors and my friends and stuff like that. I guess like giving yourself a break, like saying, right, I'm stressed now, I need to stop doing this, go be with my friends or something and have a break and then come back to it. You have to give yourself breaks and stuff like that. You just, you have to work hard and just tell yourself that it, this is not forever, this is gonna end soon and all of the hard work that I've put in will pay off. So good luck in college if you're in college. You can do it and you will get through it. Mwah. Which colour should I dye my hair next? Your hair looks pretty awesome right now. I really like it, but if you want to change your hair, I know what that feels like. And I think you should go green. I think it would suit um, your eyes as well and your eyebrows. I think it'd look cool with your face. <laughs> How do you keep your hair looking so healthy after dyeing it? Oh, look at the cutie little baby. Have regular hair cuts. Use a lot of argan oil serum. I try and not wash my hair like every day. I, well, I don't wash my hair every day, but I just use dry shampoo and that sort of helps as well. Washing your hair every day is not good. It strips your hair of all of its natural oils and leaves you with dry hair. So yeah. What's your fave brand of not too expensive makeup? Love your videos. Thank you. I like your hair. It's very bright. My favourite inexpensive makeup brand is probably NYX. I'm so obsessed with NYX. Lipsticks, the matte lipsticks are amazing. The liquid suede lipsticks are amazing. The foundation, not not into it. Um, not my thing. The pore filler prime is amazing. Um, the mascaras, I've only ever tried one and it was pants, I'm not gonna lie, but like, I've, it's, there's been very few things that I've tried by NYX that I've been disappointed by. I've loved nearly everything. Matte liquid liner is amazing. I'm on like my fourth like tube or something. I really love Soap and Glory. I don't know if that's classed as like an inexpensive brand. I think it's kind of in between like budget and high end. I think it's like classed as a premium, premium brand. It's pretty much similar price to NYX anyway, maybe like a pound or, more, or so more. I also love Gosh from Superdrug. They're cruelty free and really, really, really good. Who is your favorite band? Um, That's a question that I can't answer. <laughs> I mean like in general or like right now? Um, right now my favorite band is Catfish and the Bottle Men. I can't deal with them. I cannot deal with that band. They're amazing. They're so, so good. Oh, look at this little baby. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. What excites you most about getting married? Um, could be like, oh, spending the rest of my life with my beautiful man. But I'm gonna be doing that anyway, whether I get married or not, I'm gonna be with Jordan forever. So I'm gonna say the day, just the whole day of being with my family, being with everyone that I love, um, a day that's all about you and like your partner and is full of love and happiness and laugh, well I hope so. <laughs> Dancing and having a drink and just, yeah, I think just the day in general, like seeing the photos after, obviously photographs mean a lot to me, being a photographer and stuff, so yeah, that's something that's exciting thinking about. Not a question, but hello, you make me so happy and I'm glad you exist, little bit. Oh, that's so sweet, I'm gonna cry. That's really sweet, thank you. Also, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. That is so sweet for someone to say that they're happy that you exist. That's like the best compliment that you can say to someone. Thank you so much. Fave drugstore mascara just got this not too fond. Max, what is that? Wet and Wild. Oh, we don't have that here. But um, my favourite one at the minute is by Barry M. It's called That's How I Roll. I don't know if you've got access to that, but it's really, really good. Um, 
and I'm really glad that I found it. Okay, so that is all of the questions. So I'm going to wait until Jordan arrives and then we will answer the last couple ones that involve us two. I've been doing a Snapchat Q&A and there's a couple for you. Well, for, yes, all, for us. What's your favourite outfit Olivia wears? This question was so dumb. <laughs> My favourite outfit Olivia wears. He's not going to know, he's just pay attention. I like any, any the, you know the tops you wear with the, the collars on? Yeah. I like yeah. them. You, you always look good in there. You do like a collar, don't you? You do like a good collar. Um, I've noticed that. I, oh. I like, yeah, any type really. I like doing anything, but them, well, them shirt, favorite. yeah, they're my favourites. Okay. That does it for me. That. <laughs> Her colour do you love on your bed? <laughs> I'm gonna. You got a Circus Survive T-shirt. Yeah. Well done. She's wearing a Circus Survive T-shirt, so already you are the coolest person ever, and also you're really hot as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm most impressed with that T-shirt. Circus Survive. <laughs> What hair colour do you love on your bed? Like, what's your favourite? I won't be offended if it's not this, it's fine, I don't mind. Uh, how long have I got? I can't answer this. You've not only had it every colour, you've had it every shade, every <laughs> colour, every invent. I think you've probably invented your own colours, haven't you? <laughs> I know what the answer to this is. I could tell you what the answer to this is. Probably just... Just your natural hair colour? Yeah, color. just brown. You just, just like it brown, brown yeah. yeah. I could, have, I could have answered that for you, but you you like, oh, brown, but I love you with all colours, but I don't get offended by that. I don't think, oh, my hair's not brown, so do you not love me? <laughs> what would be the perfect wedding venue for you and Jordan? <laughs> it's not going to be happening anytime soon unless we win the lottery. Disneyland but... would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Could you imagine yeah. you could just rent it out for oh the shoe and your mates? Oh my god, yeah, that would be cool. You... I was thinking, like, realistically, like, I was thinking, like, maybe, like, on a farm or something, or... Like a really chilled out low key, like in a field or something. You know? I'm not bothered where it is, as long as the people there you want to be Yeah, that's it, that's true. I'll have it in, in this in this but, room. But... Like there's people there's people that have said to me like, Oh what what um do, have you thought about dresses? I'm like, No. <laughs> have I hell thought about dresses? Like I'm yeah. I'm not even thought about actually planning it. Yeah, I'm not one of them like brides that have got everything together. I, I don't have a clue. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Question for you and Jordan. Favourite bands, musicians, and or ones that you would recommend? That's a good question. You can take the reins on this one. Circus Survive for a start, <laughs> but I think that's because it's been put in my mind already from that girl wearing that t-shirt. It would Mac, Talking Heads. Catfish in the Bottle Men. Uh, Kate Bush. Anything off The Van Beatles! H I think that goes without saying though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anything off Van Halen 1 and 2 changed my life. Led Zeppelin. That's another one that I'd probably go where, without saying. Queen! Recent ones, like modern, um, like right now. Biffy Clyro. The lottery winners. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a, right, I'm gonna leave a link now to- Cause young love is what we're made of Cause nothing we're afraid of So let me drive you in my car We'll go anywhere good they're our friends band and they've just been signed so you might see them on MTV <laughs> have you guys got any plans for any new tattoos hope you guys are okay um I met her in Manchester did you really yeah it was really cool so you should show thanks to the for camera. saying that yeah it's gonna be on the screen like this will be on the screen oh that's, that's clever I like to have some type of fox tattoo I've always said I've thought about tattoos that I want but I haven't made any plans because I don't know. Every, every single time I've had a tattoo, it's not been a plan, it's just been like a last minute thing. Yeah. I think know. people take them too seriously as yeah, well. Yeah, like people are like, I can't get that because it doesn't tie in with the family tree and my mother's maiden name. It's like, just get it because you like it. Just, yeah. just get it because it's like cool. This one's from Lizzie, my friend oh, is Lizzie. It? And this Lizzie. one says, Jordan, exclamation mark, what is your technique to catch an olive bomb for research? Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, that is a good question, that. <laughs> How do you catch an olive bomb? Hmm? To catch an olive bomb is probably, for a start, just be a nice person, isn't it? Awww. Oh. Not saying that I'm a nice person, I get what you mean. I thought you was complimenting. No, I wasn't saying that. <laughs> yeah, that is a question, isn't it? Like, what have you. Yeah, like, what... like how, did you, how did you get me? How did um, you like? <laughs> we were 15. 
We're he good, just bought me a Capri Sun one day. So. <laughs> we're good friends for Yeah, we were friends. Up. I think she's asking how to pull me so that she can pull me away from you. If you're doing a driving and you go to pick Olivia up, we've got to be prepared to stay on the front for three hours. No. Yeah, definitely. That's not true. Yeah, it is. You have to be prepared to have your bath dyed 15 <laughs> different colours, like <laughs> just the size of the bath, like a rainbow. <laughs> I think you've just got a good laid back personality, so I think that's why probably we get on. That's probably, that's yeah, probably that's the best. Just be a nice person and don't be a. You You've already, you've already got me, so it's, it's fine. Don't worry. I probably answered that too. If you had a question from Lizzie, that he thinks no. he should. Who would watch this adorable face on YouTube? Because I don't I'm, think it'd be very good, eh? Yeah, you would. No. Yes, you would. Comment below and say Jordan make a YouTube channel, or comment below saying Jordan don't make a YouTube channel. See which, see which one wins. <laughs> We're done. Thank you so, so much for sending me all the Snapchats. I really, really loved them. And it was really, really nice seeing people's faces. Like, it's weird, like, seeing someone's face. It's like, oh my God, you're a real person. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!